Welcome back to our two-part series of DeepQ Learning. Last time, we talked about the theories behind DeepQ Learning. And in this second video, we'll put theory into action. I'll walk you through step-by-step -step coding your own Atari game agent using some of the deep reinforcement learning libraries. You'll be surprised at how simple it is. So let's dive in. First off, we'll open up this Google Colab file. If we take a look, this is really all it is. Just a few lines of code. OK, let's just start the process. First off, we go to notebook settings. As usual, we'll use Python 3 and make sure we're using a GPU. And then we connect to a runtime over here on the top right corner. Once we are connected, uh, we run our usual setup. So install all the necessary libraries. The first one will be using RL baseline 3 zoo which is a training framework based on stable baseline 3. So just go ahead and install it. Once this is installed, we're just going to run through the other the rest. I'm going to clear the output so we can see better. And yeah, just keep running. We'll also be using Gymnasium. If you watched my previous videos, you should be already familiar with this. So just pip install. And we're going to clear the output again. Next, some system packages and the virtual display. OK, and then we set up our virtual display. In this case, it's a 1400 by 900 size. And then we can start training. To start training, we're going to open up this folder and we'll create a file which will be our configuration file uh, we can call it dqn dot yml so this will be our configuration file and then if we open it up and here i have prepared this file so uh the content so we're gonna just copy this and paste it into the dqn YML file. So what does it do? So we're just gonna, going to specify the game specific game environment we're going to uh, train. In this case, we're training Pac-Man and we're using this version. And then basically it tells, uh, tells the training framework to stack four frames together and using the CNN policy. And over here, in terms of training steps, uh, we're training it for 1 million steps in this case. I think this is going to run for 90 minutes. So I think if you put it longer, it will actually um, it will actually go over time and your Google Colab will probably just the runtime will probably just end. Some other configuration settings that I won't go into. You can look at the documentation if you're interested. For now, that's all we're going to do over here. Uh, for training, we're going to use this Python command and also specifying the environment and the file we're going to use. I think my computer is being pretty buggy right now. That's why it's showing so many. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to run this and come back after this is done. Okay, so finally it has finished training and i'm going to clear the output next let's record the video okay so if i refresh this it should give me a video inside the logs folder yeah because we put the video in the logs so inside of the logs we should have a, a videos folder and we should get the mp4 file. So if I download this. OK, so this is the file I just downloaded. Let's take a look. OK. Yeah, cool. I would say, I mean, definitely it's not perfect, but I think it's better than what I can do myself. So, okay, that's pretty cool. 
you can obviously go ahead and train it for longer. You can also train it on your own computer if you want. I think for Google Colab, it will have a time limit. And so the next part is if you want to train it again or change some settings, you use these two lines to clear the logs. Let's not do that right now. Let's evaluate this model. And last but not least, let's uh, upload our model. For this, we will need our hugging face token. I will go ahead and get my tokens, copy this, and come back to the Google Colab. And then I'm going to paste and log in. Okay, I have logged in successfully. So I just need to now run the push to hub. And this is the name of the model I will save it as. And yeah, just fill in your own information. And then we can just run this. Okay, it should now be uploaded to our Hugging Face account. So if I go to my profile and we can see that I have updated this model. Yeah, and here it shows a preview. Obviously, if you want to change the settings and train another time, you can feel free to do it. You can use the same file, just run this two lines. And now if you refresh, like the logs folder should be empty now. And then you can go ahead, come in here to change whatever settings you want and run the training another time. Yeah, feel free to play with it. And that's all pretty much all I wanted to show you. Have fun with it. Make sure you like and subscribe and see you next time.